All right, YouTube, it's Big Mike again from uh, Without Further Ado Retro. Uh, it's just a bit of a different video today. It's going to be a video of me, about me talking about Sega and um, the up and coming Sega Forever, I believe it's called, um, and what I'd like to see Sega doing, what I think Sega are doing, um, etc. So, Sega on about, you know, getting back in, uh, back in touch with their... Uh, their roots and um, I believe the Sega Forever is going to be um, unfortunately something to do with on the mobile phones um, I'm not looking for that from Sega um, people have been emulating Mega Drive Master System Game Gear and everything on phones for a while what's gonna happen now Sega is just gonna start charging for that like Sony's done with the PS4 um, and PlayStation 2 backward compatibility I don't I don't want that um, you know, I think uh, this latest uh, E3 Xbox has got that right with um, you know uh, with the backwards compatibility right through from Xbox right through to Xbox One X for free. You know, um, I have I've got over 500 games on PS2. I've bought them once already. Why should I have to um, pay to emulate them through my PS4? Pay Sony again for something I've already purchased. Um, the PS4 can do PS2 emulation, it's already doing it, but at a price to the consumer. I think uh, Sony should definitely think uh, again on that one, but anyway, we're not here to talk about Sony, we're here to talk about Sega. Um, they're sort of uh, asking what sort of um, titles they would like to reboot, so I thought I'd go back to the basics and suggest the ones that I'd like to see rebooted, or not rebooted, possibly sequels, um, you know, not taking it uh, too far away from the original source like if you understand what I mean but let's start out Shinobi absolutely brilliant game in the arcade um, very good on the mass system a very good conversion uh, should be because it's, it's them that made the arcade and it's their license but um, fantastic really good game uh, as you all know I'm a real fan of the Shinobi games um, I would love to see a new Shinobi uh, on the lines of the original Shinobi. You know, Revenge of Shinobi is one of my favourite games of all time. Uh, Shinobi 3 is supposed to be a fantastic game. I've yet to get into it properly. Um, uh, Shin Shinobi Den or Shinobi X in the uh, PAL regions is supposed to be another very good game. Uh, not too keen on the ones on the PS2. I think you should stay away from 3D. Keep it 2D, keep it Shinobi, old school. And, uh, you know, new new levels and uh, new music and everything. Things like that would be absolutely brilliant. So, that's the first one. Excuse the condition this one. I'm going to have to upgrade this one at some point. <laughs> but, um, hang on. Uh, hang on. Super hang on. Um, I used to play this with my dad back in the day on the Amiga. Hang on. Um, fantastic arcade. Fantastic on the Master System. Fantastic on the Amiga. Um... And I believe Hang On, Super Hang On's on the Mega Drive as well. Um, I do have it. We'll, we'll check it out in a moment. But another great game. It's not seen the light of day for many, many years. Sega license definitely could do with an upboot, a, a, a reboot, or you know. But, but sticking true, sticking true. You know, same sort of gameplay. Not too much, you know, wizardry on it. You know, but you know, we'll take it from there. Okay. Next one. Wonder Boy and Monsterland. What a great game. Uh, Wonder Boy and Wonder Boy and Monsterland. Fantastic games. Um, I haven't really seen any new Wonder Boy games for a long time. I know they've just rebooted uh, Wonder Boy 3 The Dragon's Trap, um, which looks awesome. Uh, but, you know, it's I believe it's Sega's license, so why Sega shouldn't put it to good use, I don't know. So, there's that one. And this would be an awesome game to see a reboot. Not a reboot, but, you know, new levels, new game. But in the style of Alex Kidd in Miracle World. This um, absolutely superb game. Really, really good back in the day. Um, even really good now. Like, it's, it's a fairly easy game, but, you know, it takes you back to your childhood. I remember playing this when I was young. Um, and just such a great game. Um, uh, Alex Kidd in Shinobi World was a good game as well. Not too keen on all the other ones, but... They could sort of go back to their roots and start with something like this. Um, that would be brilliant. 
and last one on the uh, on the mass uh, mass system. As you can hear in the background, got the arcade music playing. Afterburner, you can't go wrong with Afterburner. Afterburner arcade, Afterburner two arcade um, on the the master system, the Mega Drive, um, the Amiga. Uh, Spectrum and all that wasn't so great, but uh, you know, Sega's own license, you know, absolutely brilliant. Um, personally, I think where I would like Sega to go with with this is um, my own idea. I would like Sega to get back into the um, the hardware market. I would really like Sega to release a machine that plays all of their systems, um, from the Master System, the Mega Drive. Um, 32x I'm not so keen on but you know yeah 32x why not um you know um Sega Saturn Sega Dreamcast um all on one machine why not hardware based not emulation um and possibly in the style of Mega Drive Mark 1 with Mega CD Mark 1 I think that'd be really cool um you know as a retro collector you buy a lot of retro uh retro systems and there's things going wrong with them, you know, they either need recapping or you know, they don't quite read the cartridges right or, you know, the, the Mega Drive was pretty bulletproof, but, um, you know, it'd be nice to ha or have all your systems in one for the Sega, all, all your Sega under one roof, so, so to say. Um, yeah, absolutely brilliant. Uh, not, don't license it out to someone else, um, you know, all these rubbishy emulation units that you've got and you're selling your soul for for a few extra quid let's have sega making it again like i say the the build build quality of the sega mega drive mark one absolutely bulletproof really really well made um the dreamcast such a fantastic console um you know their consoles were, were really really good but i'd like to see sega get back into the hardware market like they used to say you know to be this good takes ages well we've been a waiting ages for Sega to become that good again. If not, Sega becoming great. Okay, I'll speak to you in a moment. Cheers, YouTube. Thank you. I hope you're ready. As the man said, we're into part two. A few more of the uh, games that I'd like to say Sega breathe a bit more uh, life back into. So, as I've already mentioned, <laughs> on a Mega Drive Revenge of Shinobi, um, this game's almost perfect. Leave it alone. <laughs> it's great as it was, but like I say, it was. Um, I would love to see, you know, a new Shinobi game. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, in this style, you know, none of that 3D rubbish that they done on a PS2. A lot of people seem to like. If it's not broken, don't fix it, please. <laughs> you know, um, but we'd love to see another Shinobi game. It'd be absolutely brilliant. What is? We've talked about Shinobi before. Here's the sort of unofficial Shinobi that they did. It's official, unofficial. You know, who knows what they call it. Shadow Dancer. Like I said, uh, again, one man and his dog <laughs> take on the universe. Absolutely great game. Fantastic. Really good. Um, I believe the Mega Drive version was different to the arcade version, I think. I think it was his own game. Uh... I think the Amiga version was uh, very similar to the arcade. Um, either or, if they make a new version in this style, um, I'd certainly buy it. Um, it was a great game. Very good game. Um, <coughs> sort of an unofficial Shinobi release. But another game we'd like to see some more of. Well, you all know the story of Dougal's House and Golden Axe. Um, absolutely love Golden Axe. Um, Golden Axe, like I said, um, on Golden Axe is absolutely a superb game. We've got the one, two, and three, the Japanese release on the Mega Drive. Um, you all know how I feel about Golden Axe. One of the best games, first game I was ever addicted to until completing probably the only game I've ever been addicted to. But um, yeah, it'd be brilliant to see Golden Axe make a comeback. Um, not this Beast Rider rubbish that they've done on the um, PS3 and Xbox 360. What an absolute disappointment. Um, like I say, again, selling your soul for a few quid. 
Sega licensed it out to someone else who made an absolute hash of it. Um, you know, there's not a bad Golden Axe game until Beast Rider came along. Absolutely atrocious. Um, the only part that made me laugh was um, when the little elf guy, <laughs> I can't remember, Thunder or something his name is, isn't it? Um, comes out with the phrase, Buy my balls, girl. Uh, and that had me in creases. But, uh, you know, other than that phrase in the game, you know, highly avoid it. Every other Golden Axe game I love. Um, Golden Axe 2 on the Mega Drive is different to Golden Axe 2 in the arcade, Revenge of Death Adder. Uh, I don't know why they didn't do Revenge of Death Adder, but if it wasn't powerful enough on the Mega Drive, Saturn should have been able to handle it, if not the Bloomin' Dreamcast. But, um, you know, yeah, Golden Axe. Would love to see um, a new levels and a reboot of uh, Golden Axe. Be absolutely brilliant. Bring it back, please. Here's one everyone's crying out for. Please, Sega. A new Streets of Rage. Um, Streets of Rage fantastic lots of people believe Streets of Rage 2 is better um, yeah possibly but Streets of Rage 1 2 Streets of Rage 3 not so great but still good not not a great game but a good game um, and and we've seen nothing uh, we, we there was some teased 3D rubbishy type port things um, there was a very good um, fan made um, Streets of Rage 4 um, looked absolutely awesome Perhaps they want to do the opposite of Nintendo, um, not try and sue the guys and bring their their software down, but maybe offer them a job and buy the license and release it themselves, or you know get them on board for the new one. But again, Streets of Rage would be a great game to see a new version of, not 3D, not messing about with it too much, same style gameplay, but uh, you know, new game. Wasn't sure. I did, I did have it. It's Super Hang On on the uh, Mega Drive. Wasn't sure if it was uh, cool Super Hang On. But yep, like I say, what said, he said about Hang On's already been said. Absolutely brilliant game. Altered Beast. Not a fantastic game, but still a, 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 definitely a requirement to uh, most people's uh, collections. Definitely Mega Drive collections, you know, most machines came with this in the originally in the day. Um, what's to be said? A, a new game could be made of this, not the rubbishy thing they have on the DS, licensed again, selling their soul for a few quid. Uh, you know, give us some Sega goodness, you know, oh, it would be Sega style, not someone else. Come on, lads. Um, there's the Genesis Afterburner 2. Um, you know, I've already said about Afterburner because of the, the first game, but, you know, it was a good game on, uh, the, on the Mega Drive Genesis. 32X, Sega Saturn, Arcade, great game. I forgot to mention earlier, Afterburner Climax wasn't too bad. I've got that on my PS3 download only. But I am a games collector. Um, I do feel a more physical attachment to physical games um, I have a PC with over 200 games on and I don't feel any attachments to any of those games at all in fact I generally bought them again on um, a physical copy for other other media uh, other, other you know other consoles okay I'll speak to you soon thanks goodbye and uh, here's one I almost missed out when I went and put the other games back on the shelves it jumped out at me and I have to uh put it on sorry the music's a bit louder it's a bit, a bit better recording this one for some reason Outrun again by Sega one of their fantastic uh, moments but again it would be lovely to see <laughs> it'd be lovely to see the box like some, without the glare on it it'd be lovely to see eSwap a new version of eSwap um, great game fantastic arcade once again different on the Mega Drive it's own game in it's own right um, on the Amiga, um, I think it's a very poor port of the arcade. It's still okay though. But good idea, good game. Be lovely to see a reboot. Okay, YouTube, speak to you soon. Just a little bit of uh, funny extras. I was just checking through the boxes. And bloody hell, look. My old beast has been <laughs> attacked by some sort of beast. <laughs> oh, Anyway, I'll have to look for an upgrade for that now. Okay, cheers, YouTube.